All right, everyone, so I hope you're ready. We're getting so close to actually configuring routing and switching in NSXT, and we've only spent a little bit of time on it. So I think that's awesome. The edge configuration, quite honestly, is where people usually stumble and have a little bit of problems, but hang with me. I promise it's not that hard. The secret here is to do it a couple of times. You can watch me over and over and you can get some of the concepts, but the reality is after you've done it and made some mistakes, and trust me, I've made a lot of mistakes, you will know it really, really well. So keep that in mind as we go through this. And also keep in mind, I have a ton of videos that cover this stuff. So if you get stuck on any one piece, such as, you know, Mike, I don't understand this whole transport node thing or transport zone thing, then guess what? I got a video for it. Check it out. So be sure to look at it. All right, so today we're talking about edge design. Now, I wanted to take this video to talk about that because if we just dive straight in, it can seem confusing. I like to think about the concepts in NSXT as kind of, there's, there's two main concepts when we talk about the overlay networking. And that is the edge and the transport nodes. Generally speaking, the transport nodes are all kind of the same and handled the same way and the profiles are the same and we have the NVDS versus the Converge VDS but the edge is completely different. So you, you, there's a lot of concepts that are the same, but there's a lot that are different or maybe just slightly tweaked is a better way to put it. So one example I wanna show you guys, uh, and, and first I'm gonna go to the NSXT design guide. So I'm gonna show you first how to find it. I will tell you if you're interested in NSXT and you wanna become an expert, this is your Bible. It is an amazing guide. Uh, currently the version I'm gonna show you is 2.5, but all of the same concepts will still apply to 3.0. So to find it, the best way is to just go to Google and type in NSXT design guide. And you're gonna want the first link, which should be the blogs.vmware.com under the network virtualization category. So you're gonna to scroll to the very bottom of this and you're gonna want this link right here, NSXT design guide direct download page. Once you get there, again, scroll to the bottom and this is what you want and save this baby somewhere useful because you will be needing it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna just open it here and I'm gonna show you guys, kind of get straight into the design. So as I was mentioning, the edge is handled a little bit differently. So we're gonna walk through this diagram and it, this might seem confusing a bit, but just let me kind of work with you guys on this. So you'll see here we have kind of starting at the outside end, we have this gray box. This represents a vSphere host. This is a physical server. Now on that server, we have an edge VM, which is just a VM that NSXT pushed to that host. And it's just like any other VM. Now also on that host, we have a virtual distributed switch or a VMware distributed switch. That has a couple of uplinks that it owns. In this case, it owns physical NICs or uplinks, P1 and P2. And it also has a couple of port groups on it. It's got a management port group on VLAN 100 it's got a, a trunk port group, which you saw me configure earlier in vCenter. And then it's also got another trunk port group here. Now, if we start to move kind of, as we move closer to the edge VM itself, we can see here that the edge VM also has a few interfaces on itself, on its own. The same that any other VM would. It has these VNICs, right? In this case, we have three VNICs. We have VNIC one, which is always going to be dedicated for management, always. Then we have VNIC two and three, and these are gonna be for our overlay traffic. Now, we could actually get away technically with one, uh, but the diagram here is depicting what we call a multi-tap deployment. Uh, so basically this is, I want to have uh, all my overlay traffic from my transport nodes to my edge to be load balanced across these taps. The benefit there is really better link utilization. If I didn't load balance those, if I didn't do multi-tap on the edge, well, the problem is that all of that overlay traffic would be destined for one IP. Well, what happens when everything's destined for one IP? All of the load balancing hashes on the physical network will now basically agree and say, well, we're always going to take this one path. And so it's not ideal. So from a performance standpoint, multi-tap is where you want to be. I recommend learning it because it's super easy to set up. It's not that much harder than uh, just one tap. Uh, so that's the way I'm going to be demonstrating it. Now also while we're here looking at this, uh, you'll see here that it mentions overlay and external NVDS. Uh, so as I mentioned before, when we're talking about transport nodes, you have two methods of deployment. You can either deploy an NVDS, which has to own its own uplinks, physical uplinks, 
or you can deploy the or use the converged VDS, which is the built-in VDS. So if you're already using a VDS, we just tag on to it, no big deal. Now, if you're talking about the edge node though, the only option you have is the built-in NVDS, which lives inside of the VM. And that's why I said the host itself that the edge sits on does not have to have any special NSX preparation. It can just be a plain host, no big deal. Um, there is one exception though, however, which is since overlay traffic, whenever overlay traffic traverses a distributed switch, it's going to have or require a higher MTU. So keep that in mind. Uh, so you will have to raise the MTU on that, that distributed switch right there. So that said, I think I, I've kind of explained at least the basics. I'm not gonna go into the tier zero stuff quite now because that's gonna follow after we deploy the edge. We'll go into that and do some verification and show you guys how that works. So let's get into the actual edge deployment.